creating a teachable agent. This is absolutely mind blowing. It's probably the easiest and simplest way that I have seen so far in order to create uh, agents that actually remember context and you can teach them stuff that you can later on retrieve from their memory. And this has a very powerful layer into the working with agents. And I want to show you an example today. <clears throat> We're using Autogen, which is the GitHub repository, open source GitHub repository by Microsoft. If you haven't seen it yet, you can look um, on the video that I've shared a few days ago. Or you can just look it up in GitHub, GitHub Autogen. This is an amazing project, which allows you, as I said, to use and utilize different agents to do various tasks using OpenAI keys, API keys, or with an LLM. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how I'm using OpenAI keys. But as I said, you can just download LM, LM Studio and run this locally, although it will be a bit slower, but still it does work great also when running locally. I've played with this locally and I, I can tell you for sure. So I've explained regarding the idea of agents in a different video. You have two alternatives in general. One is just to have a conversation with a specific agent, which is great. But the other alternative is to have multi-agents and conduct like a brainstorming session or a conversation with a few agents that each one of them has a specific role and an expertise based on what you assign to them. So let's say we want to brainstorm about a marketing idea. You can give each one of the agents a role. You can tell, okay, listen, you're a junior media buyer, you're a senior media buyer, you are a CMO, you are a marketing operations, um, and you're an account executive. And you assign the role and you give a bit of context to each one of them. So for the CMO, you tell them, you are mostly uh, strategy focused and you have a lot of experience with copywriting. And to the junior media buyer, you give him, you can tell him you are eager to learn, have a very uh, data driven mindset, etc. So you give each one of them like a role and attributes. And based on this, they just start conversation, just start a conversation between them and they optimize uh, and iterate based on the goal that you set at the beginning of the conversation and eventually you are going to have a pretty good result obviously it depends on the complexity of the task but it is a great tool and it's very interesting i believe it has a lot of potential if you know how to utilize this anyway i don't want to talk too much today about the multi-agents because i showed an example the other day what i want to focus on today is showing you Something that I just found out about is the fact that some agents are teachable. So basically, how do you create a teachable agent? You follow these steps. You create a, a new conda environment. Then you activate the environment. You pip install the PyAutogen teachable repository. Then you set API keys whether you're doing it locally or with OpenAI. If you're on Microsoft, use the set. If you're not using Microsoft, use the export. Then you open the Visual Studio code and you paste the code in here. So this is the example of the code. I'm not going to go over it. It's pretty straightforward and you can also find it in the Microsoft uh, website. I mean, in the GitHub repository in gen general. We have the agent, which is teachable, and we have the user. And basically, this is how the conversation is going to start. And after we hold the conversation, at the end of the conversation, all the data is going to be stored in a database locally. And next time we are going to start the conversation, we are going to pick up from the point that we left. So. Since the data is stored in the database, 
the agent remembers everything that we discussed. So let me show you an example. So I already spoke with the agent and I told him my name and my age. Let's start this. Hey, I'm a teachable user assistant. What's on your mind? Let's see, ask him, hey, do you remember my name? and age. So he should say that my name is Yaron and my age is 36. What he's doing now is fetching from the database, basically his infinite memory. Hello Yaron Bin, yes I remember you, you are 36 years old, how may I assist you? Do you remember my age? He isn't supposed to remember my age because I never gave it to him. No, I, sorry, I gave him my age, but where I'm from. Sorry, do you remember? Where do I live? He doesn't know at the moment. I'm sorry, Aaron, but you haven't provided any information about your location in our previous interactions. So, okay, cool. I live in Georgia. Tbilisi. Vake. Neighborhood. So, here I'm sharing where I live. Great, I remember that you live in Tbilisi in the, in the Vake neighborhood of Georgia. Is there anything else that you would like me to assist you today? Not really. Bye bye. So what we're doing now, we are going to conclude the conversation by typing exit. And now you see reviewing chat for user teaching to remember. What he is doing, he is storing our conversation in the database. And we are going to close the script. Now we're, we finish the conversation and I'm going to rerun the script and let's ask him now where I am from. Do you remember me? Age, name, where do I live? Now he's fetching from the database all this information that he didn't know before. Hello, Yaron. Yes, I remember you. You are 36 years old and you live in Tbilisi, Georgia, in the Vaki neighborhood. That's it, I guess. Isn't this amazing? So imagine that we are working together on a project. I share with the agents all my preferences, what I like, what we tested, what we haven't tested, attributes of my customers, code, whatever. And basically, this is amazing because all the context remains because as long as you don't reset the database, the bot or the agent remembers all the information. And this is very, very powerful because let's say, like I showed you before, we have a team of agents. Each agent has a specific role and all of them have another layer of memory and they can recall their conversations and the inputs that we've shared with them and their discussions between one and another. This makes this uh, project way, way, way more powerful. And basically, to be honest, I believe that the sky is the limit and I'm very excited about this because my plan is just to keep on testing and iterating until I can utilize these agents in order to do meaningful stuff. For the time being, it's mostly fun and cool. And I was able to do like short tasks with the agents, but I wasn't able to build something significant with the agents because every time I had to go back and 
and introduce better prompts and share the context. So it was a bit tedious. But in this case, now that the agent actually remembered the context and what I told him, I believe it will accelerate the process. And I think this is very powerful. I think that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions regarding this video or any other videos that I've shared in the last few days, please let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, I invite you to subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section. Um, and I guess that's it. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.